Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Very sorry this video is showing up on Tuesday, not on Monday, but all of my phones decided that they're gonna die on me and I didn't have anything to record that. So today we are going to talk about endometriosis and exercises. Everything about exercises which are, are good for you, which are, are bad, which one you should avoid and how exercising is affecting your hormones. <sighs> So if you're interested, please stick in because it's going to be fun. So first of all, please answer yourself to one question, which is why do you want exercise? Because if you want the exercise to lose weight, girl, I have to tell you, there are thousands of other, you know, things which make you lose weight quicker because the weight is 90% of what you're eating and just 10% of exercises, seriously. So please put all your energy and all your limited energy, us and the girls, put your energy into uh, eating more mindfully instead of exercising, because otherwise it's not going to be fun. Another thing to keep in mind is to avoid high intensity activity uh, exercises what i mean by that basically all the hardcore exercises in the gym or the heavy lifting all the treadmills even even long distance running there's actually study which i'm going to link uh, under this video which shows uh, that the uh, long distance running can lead to internal bleeding and anemia and we don't want that because we and the girls uh, tend to have very heavy periods so we bleed way too much and we uh, tend to lose a lot of blood therefore our risk of anemia is even higher so please keep this in mind okay and a hard workout can actually amplify your uh, pain and your muscles, uh, muscle pain as well, and the fatigue. So should you go all together and say no to exercises? Absolutely not. Uh, the exercises are very good for us, as everyone knows. First of all, uh, because they give us the amazing drugs, yes, which is the uh, hormones, they give us uh, natural uh, endorphins you know the they boost us with natural endorphins and even 20 minutes exercises is enough to release the endorphins uh, they can restore the uh, strength to our pelvic floor and it's actually another research was conducted with a woman who did the pelvic floor exercises for eight weeks and they experienced a significant reduction of the uh, period pain which is absolutely worth to give it a try so why not so we which exercises are good and what are this pelvic floor exercises? It's basically all exercises which uh, lift lift your pelvic floor. I don't know how to show you this, but it's basically Pilates or even yoga. And apparently exercises can reduce even the estrogen level, which is amazing because we and the girls have too high estrogen anyway. So uh, ah, the very important thing to keep in mind when to exercise. Yeah, because you know it's good for you and you know which exercises uh, are better and which are the worst. But when to exercise, and this is so, so, so bloody important because if you exercise in the wrong period of time, you can actually harm your body even more. And it's so important to know. So when, when, Yola, when? If you're planning, like, for example, uh, go to the gym, do some heavy lifting or do some like high intensity uh, exercises, do it on your follicular phase, the moment when you're ovulating or just before the ovulation. OK, and this is the best moment to, uh, to do, for example, fasting or if you want to lose weight, do it at this time, because if you're going to do it close to the period, your body will think what the hell we might have pregnancy here and this mad woman is lifting weight and you know putting us on the risk of losing this pregnancy is she insane you know so your body will work against you in this specific period of time just before your period so don't do any heavy lifting don't restrict the calories because your body instead of releasing weight will keep this weight when you you know go on diet which i'm telling you not to do by the way don't go on bloody diets but if you do fasting you know do it mindfully and do it 
before before your period you know so i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comment section below which exercises you do uh, which are the best for you uh, give me the links to some good for example yoga instructors i'm doing yoga with adrian i cannot recommend this woman enough she's just absolutely lovely she's a great instructor she's got the sweetest dogs ever so if you didn't please check her out and i'm also doing the bum lift exercises which work but unfortunately i cannot show you because i make a deal with my husband that i'm not going to show my body on these videos <laughs> but if you know any good the videos please link me them in the comment section below as always please uh, subscribe share it and click this like button it really really helps my channel as always i will gonna see you in monday in another fascinating video and hopefully i'm gonna get my phone back by this time bye